Hi, I'm Rui Tripa, one of the co-founders of Attic Cameras. I've been an amateur astronomer since my early teens, where I did visual and mostly astrophotography work. At Attic Cameras, I am the production manager, which means that I am responsible for getting all the cameras to our customers in a high quality way. What we are going to do today is do a tour of our brand new facility where we've just moved into. So let's do that. Over here, it's the office space where we actually have the admin and all the uh, office related work. Let's start by introducing Carla over here, which is our ISO 9001 uh, responsible person and also our health and safety deputy. Hello. And also our <laughs> ISO 9001 consultant, Mr. Carlos. Carla takes care of all the ISO 9001 related activities. And yes, we are ISO 9001 2015 certified. Next, we have Alexandre over there, which is our operations supervisor. Uh, he is responsible for getting all the workflow done correctly like uh, goods incoming, goods outgoing, uh, all the production, scheduling activities, etc. Right now, we are just moving into the production floor itself. So let's go. Let's just start where the parts actually arrived to make a camera. Follow me. All the parts that are delivered by the suppliers arrive over here, are unpacked, checked, and then move along into the next level. As you can see over here, we have several parts being verified at the moment. One of them being, for example, the Attic Infinity main case. So after the parts are inspected, everything is fine. They move into the next level, which is laser engraving, if necessary, washing, etc. So let's get along and do that bit, please. And here we are. We have the laser engraving station right here, where we engrave parts uh, that need engraving, like serial numbers, etc., etc. Like a, a good example is the QSI M42 cover over here. That we do engrave several things. We also have the washing station, where we have an uh, um, ultrasonic bath uh, that uh, uh, washes the parts, degreases them, gets rid of any dirt that can be a problem later on in the process. Uh, we use the mineralized water for all this process, not only for the washing, but also for the rinsing process. And now we are going into the production room itself. Let's go. Okay, so right now we are about to enter the production room. And the production room is ESD safe. It does require us to wear this and this, which are basically conductive uh, clothing and shoes so that we are compliant with the SD rules required to build the cameras. So let's just do that. Okay, we are all dressed up and about to get into the production room. Since we, this is a restricted access location, we have to make sure that whoever goes in is actually protected. So we have this device over here that detects if the conductivity of the shoes is correct. Let's try it out and see if the door works. It did work. All right, so we are now in the production room of Atti cameras, QSI, Opus, etc., etc., all the cameras that we make. The team, as you can see over here, they are uh, busy assembling uh, all sorts of different camera models uh, from uh, the Attic ones over here up to other models that we, we make constantly. Uh, on this side, you have our QSI product specialist, Hubert, right there, just taking care of some uh, QSI cameras. And we have Pedro over there, our production supervisor, just in the back. So if we move along, we just come over here to the cleaning section. This is where we have uh, a couple of lambda flow cabinets that are used to clean the cameras to the highest standard possible. So no dust, dirt, whatever allowed inside. 
We also have some high-tech uh, leak detection equipment over there that ensure that the cameras are as airtight as possible, so no moisture gets in. Also, a couple of vacuum oven, uh, a couple of vacuum ovens, and an oven for desiccating the uh, the desiccants. Now, we have to emphasize that uh, most of this stuff is not really required for an astronomy camera. It's just that the astronomy customers take advantage of it, since we do are required to do a lot of, this, uh, of these procedures for the OEM uh, customers. Over here, we also have our final testing. Uh, we cannot go too close, I'm afraid, because there's some sensitive uh, stuff going on over there. We have some customer uh, property equipment that we cannot really show you. But that's where our final tests are done. So we have a bunch of machines that do a battery of tests to ensure that the cameras are of the highest quality that we can uh, make. So uh, after the cameras uh, are made, clean, tested for leakage, and eventually doing the final test, we have to pack them. So let's move on. So as the cameras get out of production, they have to be packed. And this is the packing station where we actually uh, pack all the cameras of all the brands at QSI, Attic, and other brands that we make. After the cameras are packed carefully, they are put inside boxes and then shipped to our warehouse in Norwich, England. And that basically ends the entire production process. I hope you have enjoyed this.